So a lot of people have been hating on the Suicide Squad recently. Citing poor character development and predictable storylines is a reason that they didn't really like the movie. But they all say the same thing. There's a third reason, and they just can't pinpoint what that reason is. But I can, because I'm smarter than all of them. You see, it all starts with the introduction of the character Captain Boomerang. We learn about Boomerang's obsession with his love interest in this film, the Pink Unicorn. Boomerang loves this thing and takes it everywhere he goes, inside of his jacket, right beside of his heart. This notion of a man and a stuffed animal just made the audience's heart flutter. I know in the theater that I was in, there was a resounding, ah, when he gave the unicorn's introduction. Cut to later in the film, and we see him rescuing the unicorn from a near-fatal fall from his jacket. The subplot of the love story thickens, and we get to see the affection that these two characters have for each other. Cut to the end of the film, and we see Enchantress shucking and jiving and giving the main cast visions of their greatest desires. And we don't get to see a boomerang on unicorn fuck session. Now what an absolute kick in the nuts that was. Like, come on. They're gonna dangle that possibility in front of us and then not deliver? Absolutely unfucking believable Right, Sparkle Fresh? Meow! That's right! Audiences left that movie in droves, without ever getting to see that unicorn give Boomerang 10 inches of passion, and that's something that I think a lot of fans, myself included, cannot forgive. I'm glad I was able to clear up this perplexing dilemma of why people truly didn't like the Suicide Squad. And tune in next time when I tell you why Tree Rape didn't save the Evil Dead remake from dislikes. Subscribe for more incisive content posted every year, sometimes even twice a year. Shark pride for life, bruh.